This past Saturday, we had a meet and greet in Brownwood Paddock Square here in the Villages, Florida. This past Saturday, the 8th of January, 2022. Gee, where's the time going, huh? Anyway, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming uh, to the show, or the meet and greet, I should say. And I hope you enjoyed uh, yourselves. I think everybody did. Uh, we had a lot of interesting cars. We had at one point over 50 C8 Corvettes in attendance. That was really great. I um, also want to thank Paige and Rich Udell for bringing their wonderful Callaway first edition C8 Corvette to the meet and greet. It was a big hit. People all around the car all, after, all morning. And so that was really, really good. Uh, also, I just want to make a quick comment. If you see uh, a posting for a meet and greet here on YouTube, um, everybody's invited. You don't have to belong to a particular club. You don't have to uh, um, be specially invited. Uh, if you've got a C8, even if you don't have a C8, come on up and join us. Take a look at the cards. You get a, we had, I think, just about every color there this Saturday. There's some beautiful cards there. Um, it, it was really exciting. And also, uh, I like to ask one question, uh, and this time, this meet and greet, the question I asked was this, and I'm going to show you some of the videos in just a second. But let me give you the question and post a comment down here. In fact, hit the subscribe button too, that helps a lot, and it's free, it doesn't cost you anything. So, uh, but leave a, leave a comment and tell me your answer to this question. Here's the question I asked these guys and, and ladies. Uh, this past Saturday. If you were to go into a Corvette dealer, you want to buy a brand new Corvette, and the dealer looks you, or the salesman looks you straight in the eye and says, we only sell electric Corvettes. We do not sell gas gasoline-powered Corvettes anymore. So if you want a new Corvette, the only Corvette you can buy is an electric Corvette. Would you buy the car? Give you a comment below. I want to hear you guys out there that are watching the video. Tell me what you think about this. What's your opinion? I love to hear opinions. And uh, we, you're going to hear the opinions of several Corvette owners uh, this morning or today and uh, take a look at what they have to say. So I'm going to, first I'm going to start off by showing you some video around the grounds and the cars. And then we'll go to the comments and uh, we'll wrap it up with that. So... Um, Thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like the video and leave a comment. I read all the comments. I read them all. So let's go and take a look at this past Saturday's meet and greet, C8 Corvette meet and greet, Brownwood Paddock Square in the Villages here in Florida. We're at the third C8 meet and greet here in Brownwood Paddock Square in the Villages. And today, I don't know if you can see as far as I can see, but there are a lot of C8s here today. I would say, in my estimation, there are about 45 or so C8s. And we go all the way down there, over here, over here, over here, I mean it goes on and on and on. Boy, if you have any questions about a C8, this is the place to be today for sure. See, and I knew the reason why they were saying they didn't recommend it was because they didn't offer it and they didn't want people to think And over here we, over here we have Rich Udell with his Callaway first edition. And they're telling everybody about the beautiful car they have. This is their car right here. A thing of beauty. So there's plenty of C8s to look at.
three guys over here, and I'm going to ask them the tough question of the day. If the only Corvette that was made today was an electric, all-electric car, would you buy one? No. Absolutely not. Joe Biden could go to hell, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to buy a Corvette, and the only Corvette that you could buy was an all-electric Corvette, would you buy it? No. And no. Quite honestly, no. This, There's a lot of talk about going all-electric. Yeah. We're not ready for it. The state of California, the state of Texas, doesn't have enough electric to run homes, let alone plugging in a car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to happen in our lifetime. No. I'm a motorhead. <laughs> I am not buying an electric Corvette. Okay. How about you, sir? Same thing with me, and yeah. I know that they say the torque is more in an electric vehicle, yeah. but yeah. to me, um, I've got a buddy of mine that's out in California, and he said right now they're, are, they're telling them that Would they you? don't recommend them to even charge their regular vehicles because the power grid can't keep up with it. So Very what's big. it going to be like in another five years when all the cars yeah, are? So yeah, I'm a motorhead. Oh. Yes, all the way. And how about you, young lady? No, we wouldn't <laughs> buy one either because we like the sound. Yes, I would. Okay, and because they're going to be faster or that you like the fact that you don't have to go to the gas well, station? Well, the only one I can get, that's, that'd be the only reason I'd get one. Like, okay. I'd rather I get the E-Ray Hybrid. It'd be great. Oh, okay. All right, very good. I think that's the right way to go. All right, thank half you. Half and half. Yeah. Half and half. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Same question, Same right? question. I would say no because part of the enthusiasm and excitement of driving a Corvette, you know, having it electric, it doesn't, doesn't make sense to me, so I, w I don't think I'd buy one. And not that you would drive a Corvette in a snowstorm, but there were a lot of people stranded on the freeways with snow because they, their cars that were electric, uh, they had, and, and how would they come out and charge them to get them back going again, oh, yeah. bad enough Good running point. out of gas. Yeah. But uh, and I think this electric idea, it sounds real good, but in the long run, it's it's going to be costly. Yep. Uh, the batteries, the charging stations. Yep. And I just think it would take too much away from why we all have Corvettes. All right. Now let's go to the distaff part of the group here. <laughs> I'm going with what he said. I agree with him on everything. Okay. So no, I would not. Wouldn't I wouldn't buy one until that's the fact that I, I don't have that many years ahead, so I'm not really concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I probably well, we're all in the same book with that oh, one. You know. Know. Oh yeah, really. <laughs> here, he's asking, he's asking. He's asking questions. Ask some questions. Get on film here. Yeah, here. Yeah, I'll ask him too. <laughs> Go come on. Here, come here. But, Stick uh, around. Right. Stick around. Hold I on. Let me see. ask her, and then okay, I'm going to ask you. Okay, just wait. All electric car. If it was a Corvette, would you buy it? Sure. There I have an electric golf cart. <laughs> you? How how long have you had your electric golf cart? 21 years. Oh my goodness. Yeah. A and Ford, it's still running. Ford electric golf cart. So how about you? If what? the only Corvette you could buy was all electric, would you buy one? Absolutely. Would I buy an electric Corvette? Probably no, because uh, the Corvette is supposed to sound like a mean car. And uh, I just don't want to sit in something that does, has no sound to it. So, so no, I probably would not buy one. All right. How about this gentleman right here? I would say I probably would not because I like the sound of the power of the Corvette. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't get that for the electric. Wouldn't get that with I, I think I agree. I agree. I would definitely not buy an all electric. I might buy an electric assisted, but not an all electric Corvette. All right. They're more of a hybrid Corvette, maybe, with, a, with an electric motor and a gasoline engine, both. That might be interesting yeah. combination, yeah, yeah. yeah.